Mike Ward will be starting in ninth position on the inside. Dwayne Ham in the 09 car in 10th on the outside. Dennis Mainville going to be starting in 11th in the 18 machine. Outside him in 12th is going to be Nick Gromes. Jeff Ward will be starting 13th in the 08 car on the inside. Outside him in 14th position will be Jesse Richardson. In 15th on the inside in the 04 car, Zach Sam. Chad Williams outside in 16th in the 31. And bringing up to tail end of the field here is going to be the double zero of Gil Drake. So that's your uh, lineup for tonight. All right, and uh, green flag is up and out, and we're racing here. Dover, Anthony Calantoni took him to that green flag. Kevin Buchanan up on the outside, which is going to be two by two here for a little bit, a little while until these guys get cycled in. Buchanan uh, going in real deep, guys, behind Calantoni and ducked right down onto the inside down here and uh, going backwards here a little bit. Looks like everybody's uh, pretty much getting into a single file line. A hundred laps on the boards here tonight, guys, at Dover. So a long ways to go as uh, up here in the front. Looks like, uh, I want to see that uh, Smith, Matt Smith up here in sixth position. Uh, looks like he went in just a little bit too hot, guys. Took that car way wide, but uh, managed to get it back. Now, uh, I know, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are going to run the center of this uh, track here for a little bit, kind of equalize the tires here uh, probably for qu uh, quite some time. And uh, we'll see how that uh, pays out for these guys. But so far, single file racing, guys, all the way back to the back. Not a whole lot of action happening yet. And, yeah, J.D., uh, a car, Jeff Ford, way to the back of the field, 14th spot, uh, trying to make catch up here to Mike Ward and then uh, Chad Williams in the 12th spot. Chad Williams, uh, you know, going through the uh, through the previous races here at Big Dogs Race. I'll tell you what, Chad Williams got a, uh, a bunch of races under his belt, uh, a lot of trophies here in the uh, in the league, and uh, I look for Chad Williams to uh, perform pretty well here, uh, pretty good here tonight. Chad Williams going home with the trophy from Pocono last week, guys. As Mike Ward's getting passed by, uh, looks like uh, Drake going going by him on the inside. That'll be for 14th position up here, guys. So uh, Mike Ward uh, giving up a couple of positions here early in the race, but uh, this could be a sign of tire management here uh, for the most part, guys, as these guys, uh, you know, a, a lot of racing left here to five laps in the books, 100 of them on the board here at Dover tonight. So uh, a long ways to go. So uh, i tell you what, uh, everything uh, looking pretty smooth out here for now. Cal and Tony starting out on the pole, still has the lead up here, Buchanan. Almost looked like Buchanan was going to try to get it in the first couple of laps, but uh, he looks like uh, Buchanan has backed off here a little bit up here in second position and uh, just going to ride it out here for a while as he goes way wide in a turn. 47 car taking a position from him. That's going to be Pep Pelissier. I'll tell you what, to move Pep Pelissier up to second position, Kevin Buchanan back one into third. So uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Pelissier might be looking for a run at uh, Gallantoni up there in the front. And these guys were side by side right behind them, J or, uh, J.D., Kevin, and uh, Gary Warden back here, the 25 and 66. They was side by side, and that 47 got around the 25, and a pretty good battle here uh, for second, third, fourth, and fifth, as these guys are uh, right, stacked right behind each other, J.D. Tell you what, it only takes a few laps to get those tires warmed up up here, and uh, you know, early in the run, position means everything here. Of course, uh, later on in the fuel run, tires get worn out, track gets hot, uh, you start losing the grip, and uh, start, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see the cars start to push real high up in the turns here at Dover, and uh, really no harm, no foul if you can keep your car under control. It's a big, wide track here, and uh, you just got to keep it off the wall, but uh, you'll probably wind up losing some positions if you, uh, if you happen to get in a little bit too hot and that your car pushes up uh, pretty wide on you. But tell you what, pretty much single file racing uh, all the way back to the back here. Not a whole lot of movement. Back here in seventh position, Scott Zoll 
falling off the pace here a little bit. Uh, Dwayne Ham going after a position down here on the bottom of the 09. Almost going three wide. Here comes the 31 car going by Zoll on the top up here. The seven car on the inside. And I'll tell you what, Chad Williams making his move right now to the front, guys. It's like uh, Chad Williams and uh, Richardson uh, going after it in that seven car. Chad Williams going to get the position. So uh, I'll tell you what, move Chad Williams up to and Richardson back one. Yeah, that was a pretty good battle there. He just, uh, like, forced his way down there, J.D., and said, hey, this is my spot. He wasn't giving up. He made that pass and made it uh, with authority. You bet. And uh, back here in 13th position, uh, Scott, uh, or, uh, uh, yeah, Scott Zoll giving up a couple of positions here, guys. Uh, Drake uh, in the uh, 12th position, and then uh, Jeff Ward uh, just in front of him got by Zoll. Uh, back here in 13th position. So I uh, don't know whether Zoll is having some early handling problems on that machine of his or, uh, you know, I mean, 12 laps into the run. It's a long night here at Dover. Still a lot of racing left. So uh, typically uh, these guys will let it all hang out about the last 20, 25 laps or so. And uh, this could be an effort by Scott Zoll just to kind of hang on to the tires a little bit, take care of the equipment, not push it too hard. Of course, he may be getting those instructions from his crew chief. But uh, up in front of him in, uh, in 11th uh, position, uh, actually, let's start back here in 12th position, Gil Drake. Uh, looks like he's taking a position from uh, Coleman. Coleman giving uh, up a position as Drake moves by. And then uh, Jeff uh, Ward up here in 10th position. Looked like he was uh, pouring the coals to that uh, uh, to that machine down there too but i tell you a little bit of movement happening out here on a track already these guys uh, fight for position remember they got to get it early try to get it before the halfway uh, point in the fuel run so that uh, when their tires wear out uh, they can pretty much hang on to what they got but uh, i tell you what up here in front gary warren in fourth position almost looking like he was going to fight for a position up here with that 47 machine pulls up on his bumper here come through uh, turn three and then uh, off of turn four, going down the front stretch, doesn't quite get it, but uh, I'll tell you what, he's staying right with that 47 machine. J.D., this seems to be the action on the track still to this point. His second, third, fourth, and fifth spot. These guys are going back and forth. So it looks like Gary Warren's getting a move on the inside, J.D., sticking the, sticking the Howard uh, Wildrick on the outside, and he can't make that move, J.D. That's the problem with this track. It, it's just you got the middle groove is going to be the fastest groove around here. You get on the bottom, you get your left wheel on that apron line just a little too far, and she's going to get awfully wobbly. Yeah, 10-4 on that. I'll tell you what, it's even a different racing surface down there on the apron. You're looking at a concrete track up here on the racing surface, but uh, you down there across the apron, and it's actually pavement down there, so different kind of racing surface. And then where the track meets the apron, unlike a lot of other tracks where it's a progressive banking all the way to the apron, this one kind of cuts off and then it goes flat right down there at the bottom. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, that is absolutely no man's land down there if you happen to get two tires across that apron line down there. But you're absolutely right, that middle groove is gonna be the fastest groove around the track here at Dover. And uh, I tell you what, uh, back here in fifth position, watching uh, Howard Wildrick back here making use of it, doing an outstanding job. He's got uh, Pepe uh, Pep Pelissier, I hope I'm saying that name right, up here in, uh, in the fourth position and uh, trying to get that position away. And he's fighting it uh, pretty hard here. It looks like uh, Pelissier is going to give it up to uh, that uh, uh, Howard uh, Wildrick. Yeah, these guys are really battling hard here, and I'm curious to see which drivers out here are saving these tires because Dover will eat your tires up, J.D., and I'm not even sure they're going to make it to the 50-lap mark before they're going to have to come and get tires, especially some of these guys that are really turning hard, fast, hard laps, J.D. Yeah, you got that right, and I'll tell you, uh, you know, from my experience, you get about 30, 35 laps out here at Dover. That's about uh, that's about a tire run. Uh, you're going to probably wear, uh, run out of tire before you run out of gas for sure out here. But it uh, looks like uh, Matt uh, Matt Smith taking a position away from uh, uh, Pelissier up here. Pelissier uh, dropping back to uh, sixth position as Matt Smith uh, gets uh, gets past him in that 53 machine. But uh, tell you what, you're absolutely right, John. Uh, you know, you can probably pick out the guys who are saving their stuff. I want to go all the way back here to uh, Scott Zoll running in 13th. Now, uh, 
the last about the last 10 laps or so he's pretty much maintained that position right there and these guys hoping for uh, a green flag pit stop here so uh, it all could come down to uh, your pit strategy as uh, we're still green flag here at Dover International Speedway 23 laps in the books here at Dover why don't we go ahead and step away we'll take our first commercial break of the night it looks like it's going to be green flag racing here for quite some time. So I'll tell you what, you're watching live ETV live, cowboy. It's the only choice, so don't wander off. We'll be right back. We are back live here at Dover International Speedway. I'll tell you what, we are under green flag pit stops. Just about everybody's coming down pit road, guys. So it's going to be four new shoes and a bucket of oats for everybody. As uh, even the leaders have come down, uh, showing uh, our in the lead right now is going to be the 77 machine of Howard Wildrick. I don't believe he has uh, actually he's uh, heading down uh, right now making his way down pit road. We'll stay right with him here. I'll tell you what, whoa, that pony up, 45 mile an hour pit road speed down here, cowboy. I'll tell you what, you gotta get it right into your box, get it square, and get that machine up, get four new shoes, get the uh, bucket of oats poured in the old fuel tank down there and get a good exit off uh, off of uh, pit road down here. Now coming off of pit road is a whole other ball game, cowboy. These guys get down to the end down here and uh, they gotta come out uh, right there in the middle of uh, turn turns one and two and uh, I tell you, there, there really isn't a ramp or anything to uh, take you back out on the track. Right, it's just hell bent for leather. As a caution comes out for the first time here at Dover, guys, we'll cycle it around here and see if we can't uh, pick it up. I got a funny feeling it might have been down there on pit road. Looks like it's going to be Matt Smith, guys. Matt Smith uh, going around. And let me see if I can pull this thing back and see what happened to Matt. And absolutely, it looks like. Uh, he made it, uh, trying to make his way down onto the apron there, John, and just uh, like we talked about earlier, uh, got those two tires down there and went for an e-ticket ride. Yeah, definitely, J.D., and, and that's what happens a lot here, too. You got that transition from concrete to asphalt, and it's a pretty deep banking here, pretty steep, J.D., and it's, sometimes it's really, really tough. You get off speed there, and you just kind of, oh, wow, car came, came around that corner, J.D., and just knocked his lights out. Yeah, and I can't uh, I can't see who that was that hit him. I'm trying to trying to find that out. Run, run a slow uh, slow mo here. 31 makes it by there, just barely misses him, JD. And then you're gonna see a car down on the low end here, come way down on the apron line. Don't see him here, and comes around that corner and just waylays him. I still can't make out that car number, JD. But wow, he hits him a ton. That's gonna be the 08 car, guys, of uh, Jeff Ward. Uh, like you say, coming off that turn, probably didn't see him through the smoke. And, uh, you know, uh, no way for uh, Matt to keep that car under control enough to get it off the track. But, uh, you know, you got a blind blind uh, corner coming around there. You can't see the car. And then the 08 car, uh, Jeff uh, or uh, uh, Ward, uh, Jeff Ward just uh, door slamming uh, Matt Smith. So when I think Matt Smith has uh, pulled it behind the wall and put it up on the hauler. Major suspension damage to that 53 machine. So a tough night for uh, for Matt here at Dover. Yeah, very unfortunate. That was a fast driver. And I think Jeff Ford, Jeff Ford was never, uh, when I remember he was in my uh, Elite Sim Racing League, uh, JD, and he never was much of a big tire saver, but man, could he turn some hot laps. So uh, I was really curious to see if he was back there saving them tires here at Dover or uh, if he was just trying to be patient and uh, miss some of these early wrecks. You bet. I'll tell you what, uh, I'm looking at uh, the number 12 car, Jason Coleman, still sitting on pit road down there, going down a lap, guys. 
Looked like an extended pit stop uh, for that 12 machine. Not quite sure what uh, what was going on there, but uh, Jason Coleman going down a lap. Now, uh, I don't know whether they uh, run the lucky dog here or not, but uh, if so, uh, Jason Coleman could be the recipient of the lucky dog. Jeff Ward also going down a lap. Of course, uh, remember Jeff involved in that caution with uh, Matt Smith. And uh, actually, uh, Jeff Ward went uh, went screaming into the side of uh, the 53 machine. So some major damage on the front of that 08 machine as uh, Jeff Ward comes down pit road one more time to try to get that damage fixed. But uh, first caution coming out here at Dover, guys. And I'll tell you what, uh, 31 laps in the books here, 100 of them on the board. It's had a green flag look to it uh, from start to finish, I'll tell you. And it's just bad luck. You know, we talked about uh, getting your car from the uh, surface, the, the track surface, down onto that apron. And uh, I tell you what, uh, making uh, making a successful pit road entry here is a whole lot harder than it is at places like Daytona or Talladega, where you got to woe it up from uh, you know 190 miles an hour to 55 miles an hour. So uh, this one will come around and bite you good. And it looks like a, we got a couple fans, a couple drivers here. Our Red, he's rooting for Chad, that 31 car. And uh, he also uh, must be really good buds, buddies with uh, Jeff Ward because he's kind of rooting him off to, on to there, uh, J.D. <laughs> All right. Hey, welcome to the chat room over there, Red. And uh, I don't know who all is watching what over there, but it's kind of a kind of a – Kind of a co-ed chat room tonight. Uh, something else we got to get figured out. But then on the other hand, ETV Live Cowboy always under beta test. So uh, we'll get that sorted out. Channel One uh, having a race uh, as, as well tonight. So I'll tell you, ETV Live, you know, growing, getting bigger, better, and better. Uh, two channels to choose from. So uh, it's kind of like watching network TV. So it's just uh, just a matter if you want to watch the Oprah show or uh, one of them other ones. Well, J.D., maybe we can set up a channel where maybe we've got side-by-side -side races, huh? He wants to do it once. <laughs> yeah, there you go. i tell you what, uh, Jesse James and A.J. Browning, Jerry the Corn Dog Wolf, they're uh, in Channel 1. They're uh, doing the uh, B-Car, the official B-Car races tonight, Thursday Night Thunder. And then, uh, of course, uh, we've got uh, the uh, uh, Big Dogs Racing okay, League over here. And I'll tell you what, take a look at their, their website. As uh, we get the uh, the one to go here uh, at Dover, uh, take a look at these guys' website, BigDogsGaming.com. I need to spell this out for you. It's going to be D-A-W-G-Z, BigDogsGaming.com. And they do it all, Cowboy. It's not just the racing here uh, in the uh, racing league, but they do stuff like uh, this Battlefield uh, uh, Battlefield 3 uh and a, and a bunch of other ones, and I uh, tell you, what, it's kind of a kind of a gaming commune over there, I guess you'd call it. Now I gotta tell you, uh, I, I got one of them shoot 'em up games, John, and uh, but I can only play for about ten minutes at a time because I just have a tendency to shoot everything I see. So. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, play one of those about as long as I can actually get one of these sim cars anymore, JD. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. Hey, Gil Drake's going to pick up the green flag here on the restart. Anthony Calantoni, your pole sitter, is going to start in second. Kevin Buchanan, Gary Warren, Mike Ward making up your top five here. Dwayne Ham in sixth position right in behind him. But uh, I'll tell you what, Chad Williams, uh, Chad Williams is probably the winningest driver here in the league. He's sitting back here in seventh position in that 31 machine. He's got his eyeballs on the front, I'm sure. He won at Pocono last week. And uh, I think he may be a contender here at Dover before the night is over. 34 laps in the books, Cowboy. I'll tell you what, uh, and Williams is already going by Dwayne Ham. So uh, move Chad Williams up one more notch. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Chad Williams got a headset. Last night he kept trying to bait me in our ETV Team Speak, J.D., and I didn't see it for a little while. And he said, I'll have one by tomorrow night. <laughs> Let's see if that <laughs> happens. <laughs> Kevin Buchanan up here in third position in that 25 machine. He's got uh, Cal and Tony in his sights, and I'll tell you what, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if that's a chrome horn I see on the front of that uh, 25 machine or not. But I tell you what, uh, he's staying right on the bumper of Cal and Tony up here in second place. So uh, Kevin Buchanan uh, looking for uh, looking for a position up here, but. You know, Dover, uh, you know, it's the kind of track. Ooh, back here in the uh, fifth position, Chad Williams takes a hit by Mike Ward. Williams uh, going a little bit out of shape up here, keeps it on the track, 
as uh, they make uh, contact here about a half a lap ago. That's going to be uh, Mike Ward and Chad Williams. So uh, I tell you what, uh, a little, a little, uh, a little duke them up uh, out here at uh, Dover already. But uh, getting back to this track, guys, uh, you know it's like a lot of tracks. If you don't get to position early on the restart, within three or four laps, it's it's really a lot of work to try to get it any other way. But uh, you know the best way to do it is just to be patient with your car and uh, you know let it come to you and uh, you know work the tires work those, those tire temperatures uh, and try to keep them as even as possible uh, on your run here at Dover and uh, Dover of course being in a concrete track a uh, different kind of a racing surface than a lot of other tracks here on the circuit but uh, I'll tell you what uh, Chad Williams uh, looks like he made a good recovery off that uh, off that hit from uh, 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 Ward, uh, Mike Ward back here a little while ago, but i uh, tell you what, uh, those things have kind of settled down up here in front, and uh, I believe I heard the back door open and close again, and in walks none other than the law dog himself, Rick Donathan, along for the ride here tonight. So, That's right, guys, and uh, how is everybody this evening? Looks like we've got a good crowd over here in the chat room there, uh, J.D., and uh, watching the race here at Dover, Gil Drake leading the, the, the pack here with, uh, I believe that's Anthony Calatoni uh, is running second. So uh, good to be here. Had a little bit of technical difficulty in getting started, uh, but hey, I'm here. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hard to thumb a ride from uh, North Carolina down here to Dover, Delaware, ain't it? <laughs> that's right. You know, out there thumbing the thumb in the ride, I, I guess everybody's afraid I got fleas or something. I don't know, but uh, you know, I, I usually keep up to date with that that good stuff. <laughs> well, sorry, you you couldn't catch the leader jet, the ETV leader jet, law dog. I had to take the beat up, rusted out uh, school bus. But uh, sorry, the jets broke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll tell you what. Uh, in the chat room, uh, it's kind of a co-ed co-op thing out here. Uh, thinking that we had uh, a couple of different rooms for guys to enjoy uh, each one of the races, but apparently uh, we're all in the same house. So uh, I tell you what, uh, some of them over there are watching the uh, 8:30 race that started uh, a while ago at uh, on Channel One, and then uh, of course we got a few of them there watching Channel Two here with Big Dogs Racing League here at Dover, Delaware. But uh, tell you what, been a pretty smooth race already. We've already had one caution, guys, happened around lap 30 or so. And uh, it was just, uh, you know, uh, the 53 machine trying to get uh, from the uh, track surface down to the apron uh, down here at Dover. That uh, has always been a problem here at this track. And, of course, uh, Matt Smith uh, wasn't able to do it. And, then, of course, gets slammed in the door by uh, the 08 car of uh, Jeff Ward. And it uh, looks like Jeff Ward has also pulled his machine behind the wall and uh, up on the hauler and headed for the barn here for the night. So uh, tough, uh, tough luck for Jeff Ward here at Dover. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, just halfway through the race to be knocked out, especially if you've got a good setup with that car, and especially here at Dover. Uh, now, J.D., if I recall, I believe Dover here has got a lot more concrete than, we, uh, than we've got than asphalt. And uh, that tire... Uh, it's a lot harder for it to stick to that concrete, so we probably see a lot of more uh, oopsie doozies here today. Yeah, you bet. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, concrete track, once it gets rubbered up, it's, it gets real slick, so you're absolutely right. Uh, but these guys, uh, look, you know, I, I'm thinking these guys had a pretty good practice session here at Dover. All of them are pretty much running in the middle of that track. Usually, you see, uh, you know, the bottom of that track being used up, uh, you know, from start to finish. But uh, I tell you what, these guys have found the groove here at Dover, and it seems to be that middle lane here. It seems to be the fastest, uh, the fastest groove around the track. But I tell you what, uh, we're looking at uh, about uh, about 30, about 28 to 30 lap uh, tire runs here uh, at Dover. And uh, last pit stop uh, being about lap 31 or so. So uh, 49 laps in the books now. About, uh, what, 19 laps since that last uh, pit stop. So we're just probably a little bit, a little bit past halfway looking for another, uh, another uh, uh, green flag pit stop. Yeah, and J.D., I was just taking a look over here in the chat room. It looks like Nelson is uh, questioning whether in about seven more laps from now, do we uh, do we think we're going to be seeing a pit stop come out? And if so, 
uh, you know, still being under green here, it's definitely going to be a game player uh, to see what's going to happen and who's going to come in for pits and who's going to try to stay out and uh, hold out as long as they can. So it's going to be real interesting here in the next few laps. All right, and uh, looks like the uh, 66 machine. <coughs> That's going to be Gary Warren and the uh, 31 of uh, Chad Williams up here uh, duking it out. So it seems to be the only battle on the track here is uh, Chad w or Gary Warren looking on the inside of the 31 here. That 31 is going to be Chad Williams up on the outside. Chad uh, going home with a big one from Pocono last week. I tell you what, uh, you look down his records, and Chad is an absolute performer here at Big Dogs Racing. But uh, Gary Warren trying to get to position from him as Chad goes way up into the turns, guys. Warren can't get the job done. Williams takes a piece of the wall coming off the turn. But I tell you what, Chad Williams is absolutely uh, performing, uh, uh, you know, uh, phenomenal here, guys. Able to keep that car. Uh, uh, powered up through the turns up there on the top. Gary Warren looks like he's going to give it up here for just a little bit. Let them tires cool off here, Rick, and uh, probably get after it again. As Williams almost getting sideways coming off that off the uh, turn there. I tell you what, JD. Now I tell you, that's a battle that we're sitting there watching there between Chad and Gary. But uh, I tell you what's something that's remarkable to see is you can tell that these guys have obviously been racing with each other for uh, quite some time now because, you know, it, it seems that Gary has got a trust uh, thing there with the, the 31 of Chad Williams. As they're going in the corners, he's not a bit shy about getting side by side with him. So these guys obviously know each other. They know how they can race with each other and uh, feel comfortable around each other. So that makes that makes some good racing right there. Oh, and look, oh, like he, uh, got into it just a little bit there. <laughs> I don't You're breaking on him just a little bit too much there, Law Dog. But these guys have <laughs> been side by side for a good eight to set, eight to nine laps there, guys. They finally go single file, and it looks like they're starting to pit there, Law Dog. Uh, you may be right there, and uh, let's take a look at John. Do you see who may have went into the pit? Yeah, it looks like that's going to be, uh, looks like your leader's uh, guy's peeling off. That's going to be Gil Drake uh, heading down pit road. Uh, I believe that's uh, going to be uh, 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 Sam, uh, Zach Sam, also heading down pit road. Uh, as they get, as they pull into their box, it's going to be uh, four shoes and a bucket of oats for all of them. And I'll tell you what, uh, you probably won't see any two-tire stops here at Dover at all as uh, we're under green flag pit stops one more time here, guys. And I'll tell you what, uh, let's keep an eye on the uh, pit road entrance down there if we can, Rick, and uh, see if these guys can all get safely onto pit road. Remember uh, last time uh, last time we had our pit stops right around lap 30 or so, we saw the 08 machine and the 53 machine. Actually, the 53 just started the whole thing. I had a problem getting down off the apron or off the uh, track onto the apron and uh, wound up uh, turning his car sideways. The 08 uh, comes off the turn, can't see him, plows into the middle of him, and pretty much ends both of their nights. But the green flag pit stops underway here, guys, at Dover as uh, Jesse Richardson makes his way uh, into uh, pit road. And uh, it looks like uh, Scott Zoll. Scott Zoll, I've uh, been watching him all night in a 101 car here, guys, uh, as he works his way off pit road back up onto the track. And uh, Scott Zoll just kind of looked like he was giving up some positions early, kind of hanging out in the back for a little while. And I'm just curious. Uh, I'm wondering if he's uh, not taking instructions from his crew chief. Just kind of kick back, hang out, put it on cruise control, you know, wait till this thing winds down. With 60 laps in the books here at Dover International Speedway, guys, I'll tell you what, they are starting to wind down. Tell you what, J.D., I was just keeping an eye on uh, Gary Warren and the, uh, the number 31, Chad Williams, I'm sure the viewers out there want to kind of keep an eye and see what, where these guys are at. Gary's running in sixth place right now, and it looks like the 31 in, of Chad Williams is running in eighth place. So they both went in, had real good clean pit stops. Looks like they uh, put all new rubbers around that car and filled it up and took off. So nothing bad happened. Everything took place the way it was supposed to. Got in, got out really good, really quick. So, uh, but it looks like uh, the 31 Chad Williams has got to chase down the 66 of Gary Warren for a little bit. So, uh, I'm sure that these guys will be battling it out again before the race is over. Absolutely, and uh, Pep uh, Pelissier in that 47 machine not got his uh, car down on pit road, sitting in his box. It's going to be four new shoes and a bucket of oats for him. 
and uh, move Gil Drake back out to the front, guys, as uh, things start to, to cycle around here. Kevin Buchanan in second. Anton Calantoni, your pole sitter tonight, uh, in third. But he's about uh, almost two seconds, a little over two seconds off the lead up here from uh, from Gil Drake. So uh, Calantoni uh, getting the pole here tonight. He do, he's got some time, uh, some distance to make up here on the leaders. And I'll tell you what, I want to talk about Chad Williams here for just a moment. Chad's got four wins under his belt here after 19 starts with uh, Big Dogs Racing and uh, 11 top five finishes. But uh, let me tell you something, looking down, sitting in 13th in the overall points with only 12 starts, Gil Drake okay, has five wins under his belt with eight top five finishes. So I'll tell you what, Gil Drake, he's your leader right now. He might be the contender here tonight with uh, Anthony Calantoni and uh, Chad Williams. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on all three of those guys and uh, as, uh, as the race goes on here. 65 laps in the books here at Dover, Delaware, and uh, Dover International Speedway in Dover, Delaware. Just completed green flag pit stops. Why don't we go ahead and step away? We'll take a real quick commercial break right here, right now. You're watching a live Cowboy ETV Live. It's the only choice. Big dogs racing here at Dover, Delaware. Don't wander off. We'll be right back. MTCO Communications, dude, I'll tell you what, the only place to get your gaming servers, no contracts, month to month. Get gaming tonight with Battlefield 2. Hey, Call of Duty, do it with R Factor, Arca Sim Racing, dude, I'll tell you what, 49 bucks a month, no better deal anywhere, remote access, virus filters, remote power cycle, no player limit, no bandwidth, dude. Dedicated servers, hey, do it tonight, give them a call, 800-859-6826. All right, and we are back live. Big dogs racing here at Dover, Delaware, guys. And uh, I think I just saw Pepe Pellis there as, uh, okay, well, let's give out to, to the front here. Uh, we got a battle for the lead up here as Kevin Buchanan uh, looking to take over the position from Gil Drake. Now, we just got some talking about Gil Drake. Remember, he's got five wins under his belt here with big dogs racing. So Kevin Buchanan looking to take that top spot up here as they come, uh, looks like to come through uh, turns two here. Heading down the back stretch, looks like Buchanan taking a peek on the inside, but uh, he may be just testing the water here a little bit, Rick. All right, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, having a little bit of uh, technical problems with uh, with Law Dog there. We're going to try to get him back up here on the line, but I'll tell you what, duking it out up here in the front, Gil Drake, Kevin Buchanan, as Buchanan going for the uh, going for the position, coming off of turn two, guys, heading down the back stretch. Buchanan just doesn't have the power off the turn as the caution comes out here for the second time here at Dover as we uh, take it around here and uh, see if we can't pick it up here on the E-play. And uh, find out uh, who that uh, who that was. It might have been. Uh, I'm thinking a 47 car uh, guys is uh, Pelissier. Uh, that's going to be Pep Pelissier. He he had it down pit road uh, a little while ago, John. And uh, I don't know whether uh, something was up at that machine or not. But uh, I got it rolled back here, uh, looking for it. Uh, and uh, perhaps you've got it pulled up on the Ewine machine. Yeah, J.D., he came off four there, or turn three actually, got loose, so it made him look like he was going to come down pit road. I think he was trying to fake everybody out. This is Commit McCone after getting loose, and he's just going to lose it there. Wow, I can't quite, maybe you catch that car, J.D., he just barely, it looked like the 04 car maybe. He might have just barely clipped there, but uh, yeah, he definitely got loose to that corner, and we were talking about this earlier, that right rear getting a little hot, and uh, that's what will happen here. Yeah, and you're actually absolutely right, John. It's going to be the 04 car of, uh, I believe that's Zach Sam, uh, just barely uh, clipping him here. As a Pelissier uh, down on the bottom, trying to get that car under control, and slides back up the track right in front of the 04 car. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the slow mo here, 
and almost I think the 04 car, yeah, he did. He made contact, just slight contact with the 47 machine, and uh, that's going to be Zach Sam in the 04. So uh, caution number two coming out here at Dover, Delaware, guys. And uh, the law dog, I see you finally made it back. Yeah, I'm, I tell you, I'm sorry, guys. Just having some difficulty here. I don't know what in the world's going on. We'll have to, uh, we'll look more into this after the broadcast. But as far as the chat uh, okay, on the whisper list there, I'm going to have to not uh, key that one up. It seems to be sticking right now. But uh, I tell you what, uh, heck of a race we're seeing here, J.D. Uh, a lot of competition uh, with these big dogs here. And I guess, you know, the old saying is, uh, come play with the big dogs. And I, they really put in the name uh, out there as far as, uh, heck of some competition here yeah you know this is probably one of the better races that i've seen at uh, dover in a long long time guys 17 uh, drivers taking a track tonight we've got a few of them uh, on the hauler and headed for the barn let's start out with matt smith uh, he and the uh, 08 car of jeff ward tangling on the uh, first caution of course it was matt smith who spun out trying to make his way down on pit road uh, missed it, and uh, Jeff Ward, uh, not seeing that action, comes off the corner and uh, plows into the uh, door of the 53 car. And then, of course, uh, the one right here is going to be the uh, 47 machine of Pep Pellissier, uh losing it down there on uh, in the turn. Uh, you know, right rear tires, I mean, uh, you know, here we are, concrete track. It gets rubbered up. Right rear tire is notoriously uh, gets warm here, gets overheated. Uh, you cook the beads, you blow a tire, or it just gets ho so hot you lose the grip. I think that's what happened to uh, that 47 machine. But uh, I tell you what, uh, 74 laps in the books here at Dover, guys, and it's been one heck of a good race. Indeed it has. And, J.D., I'm just taking a look here, and it's showing Kevin Buchanan hey, in the second green, spot. Looking at his rearview mirror, Gary Warren's back there behind him. Now, you know, Kevin was trying to battle him and take that lead away from him earlier. So uh, I definitely think Kevin has got a strong car here. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, if Gary can do anything with uh, Kevin. Uh, so I guess we'll find out here in just a few. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, to Anthony Calantoni, move him back up to the front. He's your pole sitter here at uh, Dover tonight. Back up in the front. But uh, I tell you, absolutely, I, I agree with you, uh, Rick. The uh, the threat's going to come from uh, Buchanan back here in second position in that 25 machine. But you know what? Keep your eye on Chad Williams and Gil Drake. Gil Drake, uh, remember, we, we talked about here just a moment ago. Uh, he's got uh, quite a number of wins under his belt here after 12 starts at uh, Big Dogs Racing. So uh, I think he, uh, he uh, could be Jay, a contender Jay, here. Jay, hold on a second. Well, hey, what, on the what? hood of uh, Gil Drake's machine. Ah, maybe you better not say. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's on the hood? Uh, uh, that is the biggest set of knockers I think I've ever seen in my life, J.D. Check oh, out the cow. <laughs> Check out All the right. bumper of that car. As uh, <laughs> we get back to racing here, guys, Kevin Buchanan, I'll tell you what, he went right after that 14 machine of Cal and Tony, and he got the lead from him instantly with Dwayne Ham uh, about uh, almost uh, seven tenths of the caution comes out again here guys of course this is uh, this is what we're gonna see from here on out as uh, we cycle it around here and uh, I think somebody's just getting loose here it's gonna be Jay Coleman uh, in the uh, 12 machine I see him going around but I'm also hearing uh, it might be somebody else as well guys okay what well, that's cute do this Sorry. back here, guys. Seen the 12 around. They go almost three wide. The 17, I believe that's the 17. They got shoved up to the outside wall. He's up against the wall, and he comes back down. He just got that wall glue, guys, and uh, spun it back around, comes rolling back down the track. And uh, I don't believe there, there's not a whole lot of contact. The 17 probably took the worst of it into that outside wall. Absolutely. The double zero car of uh, Drake on the bottom down here, and that's going to put the 12 in the sandwich right in the middle. He is the lunch meat. Richardson, it's actually the, uh, I believe that's the seven car up there on the outside. And uh, you know what? Uh, spread the peanut butter, dude. There just ain't no room in there. As the 12 gets hammered by the double okay, zero and cars. sent into the wall. Yeah, but no. uh, looks like minor damage here on that 12 machine, Rick. So, uh, you know, pit road. Get the sledgehammers out, beat on it for a little bit, and get back to racing here at Dover. That's right. And I tell you, like you said, there is not a lot of room around this track. So once they have trouble, the car spins, it don't take much for one car to just about take up half that track. 
and I tell you, these cars running 160, 180 mile an hour around here, it, things get a little close when uh, you're trying to miss that car. But going back to that restart, the uh, 25 of Kevin Buchanan, tell you what, I mean, you were right, J.D. He, he wasted no time at all to get past Anthony because he knows he's got a lot of competition behind him that's uh, going to definitely try to get up there and take him. But one of the things I did notice in talking about the concrete track and, and how the tire doesn't want to stick to the track with this concrete is that as soon as Kevin made the pass down in three and four, Anthony tried to uh, do a slingshot pass and come back up underneath him. It about got loose, about lost it, but uh, hung on to that car. You bet. I'll tell you what, uh, 79 laps in the books here at Dover, and uh, this is to be expected. This is when they let it all hang out. But I'll tell you what, uh, this is going to be the third caution of the night. Why don't we go ahead and step away, take a real quick commercial break. You're watching it live, ETV Live. It's the only choice, cowboy. And is that ETV I see all over the back of that pace car? Hallelujah, Georgia. I'll tell you what, sit tight, cowboy. We'll be right back. All right, I tell you what, etv-eplay.net, cowboy, that's where it's at. And uh, if you're uh, watching, you belong to a league, you want to get uh, your season uh, your season uh, races broadcasted, contact us over here at ETV Live. We'll be happy to put you up on the schedule. But I'll tell you what, uh, you need to get over there and take a look at the uh, calendar and make sure we've even got space. It's absolutely okay, filling up around here as we get the one to go here at Dover, Delaware. But uh, I'll tell you what, the etv-eplay.net, tons of races piled up over our previous broadcasts that we've done here on ETV Live. And I'll tell you, you can have yourself a corn dog and corona party, cowboy. Invite your friends, your neighbors, the in-laws, the outlaws. Heck, get them all over to your house and have yourself an ETV ePlay party. But uh, I'll tell you what, back out here at Dover, Delaware, uh, Law Dog, Kevin Buchanan and Anthony Calantoni going after it on that last go-round. And uh, they're gonna, I imagine they're going to be doing it again. But I'm still watching uh, back here in the back. Uh, and, of course, uh, Gil Drake uh, through uh, pit stops has, has, has went all the way back to 12th position. He's even outside the top 10. 81 laps in the books here. i gotta, I got to think that there's plenty of racing left for Gil to make his way back up to the front. But then on the other hand, Chad Williams is sitting right in front of him in that 31 machine. He won at Pocono last week as we get ready to get it rolling one more time. That's right, and they're about to go green, and I tell you what, uh, it's going to be a heck of a start as Anthony Calipone lets Kevin Buchanan know that he's behind him with a little tap there on the takeoff, but uh, those guys kind of get spread out there a little bit, and uh, J.D., I want to just throw out Nelson over here, must be a fan of Drake, uh, he said something about over here that if, uh, if, if Drake can win this race, he's going to throw some beer cans, so it uh, sounds like uh, if Drake can put this thing in victory lane, uh, I believe Nelson there is going to buy him a beer. <laughs> there you go. I tell you what, that Gary Warren up here, up, move him up a spot as he gets around uh, Dwayne Ham. Gary Warren up into third position here. He's got his eyes uh, set on uh, Anthony Calantoni up here. But uh, tell you what, I'm going to move it back here just a little bit. I want to check on uh, on Gil Drake. Uh, remember, he started back in about 12th position, already up to ninth in that double zero machine. He's got uh, Jesse Richardson and Nick Groans out there in front of him, too wide, nowhere to go, peeking up on the outside, coming off of turn three, or turn four here, guys, down the, the uh, uh, actually turn two, coming down the back stretch, and then into uh, three and four here, to uh, to makes the pass, so move Gil Drake up to seventh position, guys, as he motors that uh, double zero car to the front. Tell you what, watching the 66 running third position right now, Gary Warren, uh, 
I tell you what, he's on the move. He is catching those two guys up there in the front there, J.D., uh, with uh, Buchanan holding that lead real tight, but Anthony is definitely putting the pressure on him as they're going into the corners and so forth. He closes in on him real good when he, they get in, but it looks like Buchanan is just getting a better – he's just he's just exiting off the corners so much better than uh, Anthony is right now. So it's definitely going to be a battle, especially when we come down to the last few laps. You bet Jesse Richardson and uh, Nick Grohms making contact with each other here uh, just about uh, a lap ago. But I'll uh, tell you what, uh, Richardson able to get to position on it for eighth place up here. But uh, moving it on uh, up here forward a little bit, uh, Gil Drake move him up one more notch, guys. I'll tell you what, uh, from outside the top ten to inside the top ten, he's just outside the top five, sitting in six. Gil Drake trying to uh, do what he can to catch up to the rest of the leaders up here. Running about uh, almost uh, 2.3 seconds off the lead, guys. But I'll tell you, Kevin Buchanan uh, and uh, Anthony Calantoni. Calantoni's got a target painted on the back bumper of that 25 machine up here in front. And he's at, he's absolutely getting after it and uh, chasing that uh, 25 machine down up here, Rick. That's right. I tell you, Anthony's definitely putting some pressure on him. But uh, tell you what, those guys uh, need to look in their mirror because I'm going to tell you, Gary Warren is about to join them and uh, join in on that action. And I tell you, those guys need to work together and uh, try to play the draft here, pull away a little bit, just at least for a few laps, to give himself a little bit of breathing room because uh, Gary Warren is coming on strong, J.D. You bet. Look over here in the chat room. Uh, Slammy's O's, 87 of uh, Nick Groves takes a piece of the wall here, guys. That had to hurt. Uh, Groves back here in ninth position. But uh, checking over in the chat room, uh, Slammy's wife, I see Go Chad, but that's his name is Chad Williams, so I'm not sure where Slammy's wife comes that's, into play here. I think here. that's Chad Williams' wife, and if he wins this race, maybe she can unground him so he can talk on TeamSpeak at night. Think about that, J.D. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, uh, flag. All right a caution coming out uh, for the fourth time here at uh, Dover, guys. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be Gil Drake involved in this one. Holy cow, we got to move this one backward here in a little bit. And uh, uh, looks like he might have gotten a piece of the wall. And uh, John, we got it up on the Ewine machine. Let's pull this back, see what can happen. Uh, riding along here with Gil Drake, and he's going to get loose. He just ran too many hot laps with that right rear, gets her loose. Just like we've seen on the last caution, going to nose her down into that uh, asphalt down on the apron. The 04 car is going to make contact here. Not a whole lot of damage by any of these cars, J.D. He's going to lose a whole lot of pride, though, and he might have to go in and cover that woman up down on pit road. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, Gil Drake, uh, you know, it certainly uh, looked to be a threat here at Dover here tonight, but, uh, Rick, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case now as I'm watching it uh, back here in slow-mo, and, uh, you know, it's, just, it's that banana peel. That right rear tire gets hot, car gets, uh, gets loose on him, back end comes around in the middle of the turn, and uh, down to the apron line it goes, and of course uh, you get uh, you get stuck down there on that asphalt, and uh, it's an e-ticket ride for sure back up the track into the wall. But uh, unfortunate for uh, Gil Drake tonight. Yep, that's uh, unfortunate for Gil there, as he was running pretty strong here, and uh, no, he was definitely wanting to come to the front, try to give these guys a good run for their money. But I tell you, right now you're looking at Kevin Buchanan on the uh, sitting on the uh, the number one position right now. And on the outside of him on uh, restart is going to be Anthony Calatoni. But I tell you what, guys, that 66 of Gary Warren is going to be right in both of them's rearview mirror, and he was coming strong. So uh, I believe when they drop the, uh, the car, pace car pulls off, we may be looking at about six, maybe five or six laps left, J.D. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, uh, 93 I'm on the board now, but and it is absolutely okay, winding down. So this is going to be about a about a uh, about a five or six lap shootout here when we take the green flag. So uh, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't we get ready for that? Why don't we go ahead and take a break, check the refrigerator, get cold one out, and get ready for this fabulous finish here at Dover. We're going to step away and take a, a quick break right here, right now. So hey, cowboy, don't wander off. We'll be right back.
All right, so we are we are still alive. So I I got up and went to the refrigerator. I went to the, actually I went to the cooler under the desk here. Got me another cold one. But that hey, was a JD, all... That was a sponsorless commercial. Sponsorless we got space commercial. available. <laughs> well, that's right. You know, last last I last I checked, the the union rep said that we could okay, take what like what was it two ten minute breaks during a broadcast or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, but, uh, I don't think that was in how the contract actually reads, J.D., but we'll go over that after the race. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Glad I didn't hey. start singing my Elvis. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, uh, here's the deal, guys. Uh, Kevin Buchanan, Anthony Callan, Tony, and uh, I don't know if Warren went down pit road or not, but I know that Kevin Buchanan, Anthony Callan, Tony stayed out on the track. Chad Williams in the uh, 31 machines uh, got uh, four new shoes out here. So uh, Chad Williams might be a threat here when we uh, get back to uh, racing here. We've got 95 laps on the book, so when we take the green flag, I believe there's going to be four laps left here as uh, they get lined up and ready to uh, battle it out here again at Dover, Delaware. I tell you, this has been an outstanding race here tonight. Nothing unusual. These guys are uh, putting on a heck of a good show out here. As Anthony Calantoni pulls right up to the bumper of Buchanan, the green flag is up and out, and this is probably going to be the last time tonight. And the motors go. fire up, and we're off and running as Calantoni gives the bumper to Buchanan out here. Tell you what, they're going down to turn one. Buchanan looking on the inside. Of course, both of them slide up. Gary Warren back there kind of pacing it, seeing what these guys are going to do as they get on the back stretch. 14 of Calatoni still looking at the back door of Buchanan as they both ease on up, coming out and coming out of turn four. There, J.D. And here comes Chad. Here comes Chad Williams in the 31 machine. Tell you what, he's putting them up and putting them down here. Chad Williams just went around Gary Warren, Dwayne Hamm back here, and he's got the 14 car in his sights. 14, Anthony Calantoni side by side coming down the back stretch. This thing starts winding down. Three laps left here at Dover, guys. It's Chad Williams going past the 14 on the inside, going after Kevin Buchanan up here in the front, moving 31 up a couple of notches, guys. Tell you what, Chad Williams got fresh tires, and I tell you, he's showing he's got fresh tires. Closing in on Kevin Buchanan, looking on the inside on turn two, on the back straight, side by side. Two to go here at Dover, Delaware. Next time around, white flag, and it is over then. If you ain't got it now, you ain't going to get it, Cowboy. Coming down the uh, start finish line, one to go as Chad Williams takes the white flag. And I'll tell you what, he's put about a two, uh, two tenths of a second lead over Buchanan back here. Cal and Tony, your pole sitter, can't get it done. Nine tenths off the lead up here, guys. Isn't going to be able to do it. Chad Williams coming around the final turn, heading down the front stretch here. He's going to cross the start finish line almost sideways. He's taking a big one home tonight. Kevin Buchanan coming in second. Anthony Cal and Tony, a very respectable third place. Gary Warren in fourth. Jesse Richardson in a seven machine for a fifth place finish. Outstanding race here at Dover tonight, guys. Absolutely, wow, that I tell was you, wild. That, yeah, you doggone it was wild. And I tell you, that just goes to show you what new tires can do for you out here on this track. Uh, tell you, it's Chad Williams, he deserves that. He outsmarted these guys, went in, got some tires, took the chance, came back out, and uh, we're going to be seeing him in victory lane here in just a few. Good for him. I tell you, that's probably one of the best finishes of a race that I have seen in a long, long time, guys. And uh, outstanding run by uh, Chad Williams uh, on that uh, coming from a pit stop. Uh, of course, uh, the leader stayed out, and uh, you know that's probably what what did him in out there. Chad or uh, Kevin Buchanan and Anthony Calantoni. But I tell you what, uh, we'll uh, watch Chad Williams burn what's left of his tires off down here on uh, the start finish line, smoking them up. Here at Dover, Delaware, we're going to go ahead and step away, take a commercial break. We're going to get ready for the Big Dogs Racing League post-race show here, sponsored by JRC. I'll tell you what, uh, don't wander off, Cowboy. We'll be right back.
MTCO Communications, dude. I'll tell you what, the only place to get your gaming servers, no contracts, month to month. Get gaming tonight with Battlefield 2. Hey, Call of Duty. Do it with R Factor, Arca Sim Racing, dude. I'll tell you what, 49 bucks a month, no better deal anywhere. Remote access, virus filters, remote power cycle, no player limit, no bandwidth, dude. Dedicated servers. Hey, do it tonight. Give them a call, 800 859 6826. All right, welcome back. We are live here at Dover International Speedway in Dover, Delaware, for the JRC Motorsports Post Race Show. And I'll tell you what, uh, what an outstanding race we saw tonight. And uh, I'll tell you, down here in Victory Lane, I'm going to pass the microphone over to Chad Williams here in just a minute. But, uh, Chad, this is going to be win number five with 19 starts. And you came from 16th here at Dover all the way to the front, my friend. Tell us about your race. Oh, man, it was uh, it was fun. I decided to start at the back tonight to kind of, you know, with, as close as everybody was, I expected more cautions. And, uh, you know, everybody just had a great race. And uh, there at the end, when I got everybody to stay out, I, you know, made them think I was going to stay out. And they pulled back out on the track. And at that point, you know, it was wide open. I knew that they were going to be sliding all over the track. So, it was uh, really easy pickings there at the end. But, you know, like I said, it was a great race and feel bad for Gil. So. You know, uh, we kept our eye on Gil. We thought he was absolutely going to be a threat coming into the uh, into the race tonight. He's got 12 starts. But looking over the statistics, you know, he's, he came in with five wins under his belt. So he was uh, he was kind of sneaking up there, one to keep our eye on. But I tell you what, you absolutely uh, put a, a heck of a show on for us here tonight. And uh, that last run, uh, you know, uh, after that last caution, going and taking four tires, coming out, and just, uh, you know, hell bent for leather, cowboy, and put that thing out in the front. And uh, what a wild night you, you had tonight. Outstanding run. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was fun. You know, w when we get to the end, you know, I, I know it's time to go, so I had to get on the gas and, you know, hope that you know, nobody would get in the way. So, you know, I've, I've made a reputation in the past of getting involved in wrecks at the end for driving too hard, but, uh, you know, when it gets close, I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, Chad, I just worked out a deal with your wife. It's, a, it's only a one-month contract, but she says after 10 o'clock you can talk on TeamSpeak for 30 days. Uh, uh, she doesn't seem like she agrees with that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was one of those one-sided contracts, Chad. <laughs> Oh, like yeah, one, those don't work too well. Looks like a one-sided conversation, too, but I'll tell you what. Any shout-out out there you want to give, Chad? Well, you know, first first of all, i got to thank all the sponsors. Uh, Graphics Unlimited, you know, the guys Bradley and Ryan, you know, they designed the car for me that I'm running tonight, and, uh, you know, it, it was a great car. You know, on the hood, we've got Rockside Tire. Uh, on the trunk, there's Stephen uh, Lawn Care, and, on the back, there's team and contracting. I thank all those guys for letting me put their logos on the car and, you know, for their support. And also for all the guys out there watching, you know, I appreciate the support, guys. Outstanding. And, uh, again, congratulations to Chad Williams going home with the big one from Dover here tonight. And I'm going to throw it on down pit road. I believe I believe uh, Law Dog, Rick Donovan, standing by with Kevin Buchanan. Kevin Buchanan, I tell you what, man, you ran an outstanding race out there. You were came into this thing qualified on the outside on the the, the pole and ended up finishing second here this evening. Now you got into a battle there a little bit with Gil. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, me and Gil, we're good buddies, you know. We always give each other plenty of room. We were just having a lot of fun out there tonight. Um, throughout practice, I wasn't really that fast. I didn't feel that fast anyways, but... Uh, 
my uh, my qual lap was actually the fastest lap I ran, I think, all night. So I was pretty happy with that, starting on the outside pole. I tell you what, you were battling it out up there, and uh, you're looking on the inside. And, uh, and you know, I, I could tell you guys that I've obviously ran a lot with each other. Uh, it puts a lot of trust in the, in order to get side by side, especially at a track like Dover like this, because when you enter in the corner, you kind of tend to slide up toward toward the wall when in between the one and two and three and four. And uh, we could definitely tell that. But uh, I know you saw in your rearview mirror Gill coming, and uh, a few more laps. What do you think could have happened? I would have tried to keep him back there as long as I could. I mean, look at that car. Look how nice it looks all the way around. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, our car ran pretty good all night. Um, you got to give it out to the guys. They did a great job, my pit crew, throughout the stops. Um, all in all, they had a lot of fun. Good deal. Well, we congratulate you on your uh, second-place finish here, uh, and uh, hopefully we get to... Uh, see you soon in Victory Lane there. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. I'm going to pass the uh, mic right back up there to J.D. All right. And I think, uh, is it John that's uh, caught up? Anthony uh, Calantoni? Oh, they, yeah, they always forget about me here in the booth, though. <laughs> <laughs> they always. What do you think of that, Anthony? That's just not right, is it? I'm just like a silent partner here. But uh, congratulations, third place finisher. Uh, pretty much uh, had this thing covered at the beginning of the race. It seemed like you kind of fell back behind on these green flag pit stops. So why don't you run us through your race a little bit? Yeah, John. They always forget about me too. So I know your pain. Uh, the <laughs> beginning of the race. <laughs> the beginning of the race went uh, really well for us. Uh, after that first pit stop, that was a 15-second pit stop, which uh, we will be working on for the new season. And uh, after that, it was just a big rebound. And uh, after that final pit stop we had uh, there, it was a 13.8, which uh, gave us back the lead. But I, I had nothing for Kevin tonight. Yeah, you guys seem like you battled pretty hard there and uh, just uh, finally wore down here in the latter parts of this race. But you had a spectacular race. J.D., catch the ETV live phone. My gosh, it's ringing off the wall. <laughs> but anyway, Anthony, spectacular run tonight. Uh, these big dog boys, uh, they're no joke. Spectacular race tonight, tonight by these boys. Oh, definitely. Every time I came for a big dog's race, it's always been outstanding. They great racing every single Thursday night over here, and uh, I'm proud to be a part of this uh, team. Well, once again, a spectacular finish there, bringing that uh, Office Depot uh, number 14 machine in third place, and that ain't bad there, Anthony, for the closing race of the season. Uh, hey, uh, I'm sure you got some fans out there you want to give a shout-out to before we send her back up to J.D. Oh, you bet. Uh, I'd just like to thank, first of all, ETV for broadcasting this uh, race. You guys do a hell of a job every race. I watch most of them, to Nuff World, to Octane. And uh, I'd like to say hello to my parents out there. That wa they even watch this race. And I'd like to say hello to my Boy Scout troop. They I even told them to watch the race tonight. There it is, J.D. And will you fire up the Winnebago, J.D.? It takes about 30 minutes to warm it up so we can get out of here. I told you guys that was two pe two two pepperoni pizzas, one with chicken and mushrooms, and the other one with no onions. Uh, J.D., the broadcast oh, ain't oh, over oh. yet, son. Let's, oh, come on, oh. let's get us out of here. All right. Hey, well, I answered that phone. And it was a damn pizza place back there. They hadn't delivered the pizzas yet, and the race is over with. So uh, I'll tell you what, it's going to be cold pizza for dinner tonight. But uh, let me tell you guys something. Dover International Speedway, and I tell you, we just watched one heck of a race out here. Of course, Chad Williams taking the big one home here tonight. And uh, Kevin Buchanan, Anthony Calantoni, the whole crew, Gary Warren, Jesse Richardson, the whole nine yards partner, and uh, sponsored by uh, JRC Motorsports. What a night here at Dover, uh, Delaware there, Rick. Well, I tell you what, we knew tonight when we come into this room we were going to see some competition. And, you know, bearing down to the last few laps there, none of us knew who was going to have this race. And, you know, I tell you, uh, Chad Williams came to the front there and ended up in the victory lane. But I tell you, he had his hands full, thankfully, that he uh, put those new tires on there. And I'm sure he's thinking, yeah, I'm glad I did put them tires on. But uh, heck of a race that we saw here. And I uh, look forward to uh, seeing many more of these shows. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, get a load of these guys over here. BigDogsGaming.com. And that's going to be D-A-W-G-Z-Gaming.com. BigDogs. 
And, uh, you know, this isn't the only thing they do. Uh, all kinds of, uh, it's kind of a gaming commune over there, I guess you'd call it. But a bunch of good guys over here. Fantastic race here at Dover. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, there's a lot more coming your way, etv-eplay.net. Check out the uh, schedule, the racing schedule over there. Next week, Cowboy, day after day after day, seven days of racing live on ETV Live. So uh, check it out and join us again for sure. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, from Dover, Delaware, for uh, Rick, the uh, law dog, Donathan, of course, John, the bad boy, Wesling, they call him the legend every other night. From Dover, Delaware, outstanding race here tonight, and we'll see you again on ETV Live. Buckle up, drive safe.